All right. Okay, five. Oh, it's six o'clock now. There we go. You guys ready? Everyone ready? Okay, let's go. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you. We thank you for the authority in your word, the dominion power that you have given to us to exercise our right in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for our legal authority in the supernatural in every planet and upon the earth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us the power to be sons. Sonship applies to both male and female. Tonight, dear Holy Spirit, we thank you for coming into our midst. We invite you fully, powerfully, to charge us up, to reveal deep secrets to us in Jesus' mighty name, to transform us, release your people from all damnable chains and opposition to who you are in our lives, in Jesus' most holy name, amen. Okay. Let me tell you what the topic, can someone tell us what the topic tonight says? The Trinity of Satan. Tonight, I am only inviting those of you who truly wants to be delivered to come to this conference. Only those who truly want to be delivered are invited to this spectacular event tonight. And if you are watching, uh, if, if you are watching by... Um, if you are watching by the justin.tv, I welcome all of you from around the world who are watching now, those of you in Asia and those of you in other countries. I welcome you and I say to you, welcome. I promise those of you who were at the conference yesterday, that today I am going to teach. It is an introduction. After this teaching, I am going to break it down to the, the different participant in this trinity. Yesterday, when I was meditating on one of the one of the uh, evil trinity, I actually heard her say to me, Kidikai Mary, but why? Kidikai Mary, but why are you doing this? <laughs> and I said, because you guys have been doing too much evil and opposition. So that's why God is telling me about you because you are so elusive that nobody easily knows about you. Now, let me begin with Lucifer. I'm going to tell you 
what I'm speaking tonight is an introduction into a wider subject. I'm going to take care of each of them one after the other, and I'm going to do deliverance. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have videos that talks about deliverance from Lucifer. And then after that, I'm going to do deliverance from Bell. I've removed the former video that was on Bell. It wasn't enough. I wasn't satisfied with that, so I've removed it. And uh, I'm going to do a new one that you will see in the subsequent days to come. And then I will do the one on Leviathan. Now, from what God has been sharing with me, beginning from yesterday morning, I used to mix each of these people. I used to mix especially Baal and Leviathan. I used to mix them together. But the more I watch deliverance in my ministry and in other ministries, the more I share with other pastors, the more I see the three most important characters, the three most important personalities that are in the trinity of Lucifer, the trinity of Satan. If you ask somebody who are the three major key players in the trinity of Satan, they will tell you uh, different names of different deities and so on because they don't know because these three personalities are very elusive they don't talk much about themselves they do not so i want you to be aware of this it's a secret organization it's very it's top secret that's why even when you become a witch or even when you join the occult you must reach certain degrees of rank of energy for them even to reveal to you the deeper things about what you what you are doing. That's why there are many churches that you go to that they will never tell you the power, the energy behind what they are doing until you sway and you enter into a covenant with them. The same thing in the occultic world. Until you reach a place where you, you enter into a covenant with them, they never really tell you much about what is going on behind the closed door. You will only be an outsider for a long time until they can trust you enough as to begin to share with you. Then they will now initiate you into the deep things and you now begin to experience the bigger things about what you are doing. Now, the first person of the Trinity of Satan I'm going to compare it side by side with the Trinity of God. God the Father is God. God the Son is God. God the Holy Spirit is God. God is a title. God is family. The Father is God. Jesus Christ the King is God. The Holy Spirit is God. God the Father is Lord, which means master, owner. God the Son, Jesus Christ, is master, which means owner. And God the Holy Spirit is master, which means owner. We are so blessed to have three family personalities in charge of us. Is an opportunity. Is that it's one of the greatest privilege humanity has ever had. Now, the Father is the originator, God our Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who spoke to Moses, the God who sent Jesus. The Father is the originator of all ideas. Get that straight. He is the one that brings the decrees. He's the one who tells, who, he's the one who has, who conceives the idea for everything. Okay. Satan used to be in the presence of God. He is the God of the evil system. 
he is the God because that's what he wanted. He wanted to be like God. And he also fooled humanity and tell humanity that God is preventing them from being God. He, he, was telling, he told us that in the Garden of Eden. Okay? I'm going to teach more about him. But I just want to introduce this thing tonight so that you can have it in a nutshell. Lucifer is the God, is the originator of everything in his own kingdom, in his own organization. He is the originator of everything you can think of that is evil. Just as God the Father is the brain, is the originator, is the bringer of all idea. Lucifer is the bringer of every idea, the originator of everything in his in the kingdom of darkness, in the evil, in the system that this that that, that things are organized in his own way and in his own camp and among his own people. So get that straight. It is not Bell or Leviathan that is the originator and the bringer of all the ideas. It is Lucifer. Number two, Jesus is the administrator and the coordinator the administrator, the leader. Okay, let me put it this way. Let me go back to the Father. God the Father is the ruler over all things, over all people. He is the ruler over our, all of, he is the one in charge of all things. In the, in the organization of Lucifer, Lucifer is the one that rules over his domain. He is the chief ruler over his own domain. Just like God the Father is the chief ruler over our own kingdom. Are you, is everybody getting what I'm saying tonight? Please speak up. Are you getting what I'm saying tonight? Is it making sense? Okay. Okay. Let me continue. God the Son, that is Jesus Christ, Christ our King, is the coordinator. He is the coordinator and the administrator of the idea that God the Father brings. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Jesus is the coordinator and the administrator of all the ideas that the Father brings. He is the one that implements the policies of God. God the Father makes the policies. Jesus implements them. He enforces them. He sees to it that it is done. He, he announces it. He brings it about. That is his job. He is the secretary. He is the writer. He is the one that writes it down. Everything God the Father speaks enters into Jesus. Jesus is the handwriting. He is the pen of the Father. He writes it down. He documents it. He makes a video of it. He put it in paper, in paper form. Everything God desires, everything God brings about, Jesus is the one that brings it into. He puts it in writing. He is the one who makes sure that he keeps copies of all those things. He is the overseer of the kingdom. He is like what you will call the director, the governor. He is the governor. The father is the president. Jesus is the governor. Of all things in our own kingdom, in the kingdom of darkness, the person that is the administrator, the coordinator, the governor of everything, of the idea, policies of Satan, the one that makes sure he puts it in writing, the one that makes sure that is documented, that every decree is put in writing, a video is made of it, a CD is made of it, 
and audio is made of it. He is the executive director of the activities and the world of Satan is bare. Is bare. Just as Jesus is called king, Baal is king. While Lucifer in his kingdom, in the kingdom of evil, Lucifer is a small G-O-D. He's God. He's not even called king. He's God there. But Baal, who is the chief executive officer of his business, is king. Just like Jesus in this side is king. Now let's go to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the war machine and the, the technician, the one that actually makes sure that what the Father has given to Jesus is made available here on earth. The Holy Spirit is the one that represents the Jesus and the Father on the earth. He is the ambassador, the chief worker. He is the one that makes sure that the will of the Father is done on the earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The person that makes that happen is the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot receive any good from the Father and from Jesus. Everything of the Father and of Jesus can never come to us except through the Holy Spirit. He is the chief enforcer. He implements. Now listen carefully. He implements the policies of heaven. The Holy Spirit implements the policies of heaven. Now listen carefully to the other side how it is. The person that is the war machine and the technician, the one whose hand is made dirty, the one who actually implements the policies, yeah, the one that implements the policies of Satan actually is Leviathan. Mary, 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 Mary um, I've already gone too far. I'm not recording on the telephone line, but it's on the video. So I'm not going, I'm not going back. I'm going, I've gone too far. Okay. In this other side, the person that actually is the representator, listen carefully to this. The person that is the representator of Lucifer and Baal on the earth today is Leviathan. Have you heard of that name before? Leviathan? Okay. Leviathan actually is the snake. She, I will use the word she. She. Whew. Okay. I'm going to mute the, the phone line so that you guys can listen. Somebody is turning the Justin TV on so that the echo is echoing right back here. There is somebody who doesn't know how to turn down their Justin TV. Please, can you turn down your Justin TV so that it doesn't echo back to us? Thank you. Okay, let me continue. Hello. We're here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can I continue? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The person that is actually the ambassador, the representative of Lucifer and Bell in today's world, in the world, in this physical planet in which we live. Yes, yeah, continue. Okay. The person is 
Leviathan. I have seen people going about and doing the divorce from Baal. But the real personality of the trinity of Satan that has not yet been divorced is Leviathan. And that is why I, if you guys will sponsor me, if you guys will bring out the money, I will go from city to city. I will travel from city to city to divorce Leviathan around the nations of the world. I will do that. Hello? Hello? Yes, we are on a conference. Who am I talking to? No. No. Which address did you use? 550 West Central Avenue? Yeah, the 550. That is what it is. 550. Did, did you put, did, did you write 500 on it instead of 550? Okay. Yes, yes, that is, that is, if it is 550 West Central Avenue, then that is the address. Because I think. Okay. Okay, what will I, I have not received it? It's like about two weeks now. It's not. It's not here. So um, I will talk to you later. I am on a on the spirit prayer conference tonight. Okay, I will see you. Bye. Okay, uh, Maria, do I need to mute? Do I need to mute the line? Yes, I think you have to. Okay, if I if I hear the that tumult again, I will mute the line. Okay, let's continue. The real personality, the real personality, wow, Whew. no matter what I say, nobody's going to listen, I'm telling you. I pleaded with you guys, I said, if you are on Justin TV, mute it, use a headphone so that you alone will be listening to it. So that we will not need to listen to it. But somebody is not listening. Somebody is purposely doing this. All callers are muted and they can unmute themselves. All right, let's go. There are very stubborn people who come to my uh, prayer line just to come and put trouble here. I don't like that. And let me tell you, you guys are not going to drive me to pronounce a curse on anybody. I'm not going to do that. Because that's what somebody is trying to do that so that you guys will use that against me. I'm not going to allow that to happen. Instead, when once we hear this kind of things going on, I'll mute everybody. Okay, let's continue. Um, the person that implements, the person that actually implements the thoughts, imagination, wishes the ideas of lucifer on the earth is leviathan leviathan let me now begin to explain leviathan is the eye you see in paintings the eyes the monitoring eyes of lucifer that is the eye the eye you see even on your paper uh, dollar the eyes you see in ancient paintings and modern paintings. The eyes you see is the eyes of Leviathan, the snake. That's the eyes that you see. It was Leviathan, the third person in the trinity of Satan, who actually 
went to Eve for the temptation. And hear what God said. God said to the snake, who is the snake? And some people think that was Lucifer himself. No. Although Lucifer is behind all things, the person that was actually at work in the Garden of Eden to tempt, to lie, was Leviathan. Because that is actually the one with the proper name, snake, in the trinity of Satan. Although Satan is, 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 a, is called a snake, is a, the dragon, and all kind of stuff. But the real person with the title snake is Leviathan. And that is the most spirit that possesses people more than anything on earth. And why is that so? It's because she is the representative of Lucifer and Baal on the earth. Nothing of Lucifer get done on earth. Nothing of Baal get done on earth without the work of the Vatican, the snake. That is why in every occultic practices, in every witchcraft practices, it is the dragon from the sea whose palace is in the ocean that is in charge of it. And majority of problem that a lot of you are having is because of Leviathan's work. Not Baal. Although the works of Leviathan is actually the carrying out of the actions and ideas and administrative work of Lucifer and Baal. I want you to know this. Every, every possession, I mean, I know that demons, demons work with Leviathan. Just as angels work with the Holy Spirit. Just as we work with angels and the Holy Spirit. So do demons and fallen angels work with Leviathan. That is the one single spirit at work on earth today. And when once Leviathan is removed from your life, every other thing follows. Every other thing follows. He, she is the one single spirit that possesses people for Baal and for Lucifer. Just as the Holy Spirit is the one single spirit that possesses us for Jesus and for the Father. That's how this thing works, and I want you to know it. Listen to what God said to Leviathan in Genesis chapter 1. In fact, it wasn't the Father talking anyway. It was Jesus talking. When you hear, and God said, and God said in Genesis chapter 1, it is Jesus who is talking. This is what Jesus said. The seed of the woman will bruise your head. That's what Jesus said to Leviathan. Listen to what Isaiah said about Leviathan. Listen to this. Listen to, I, listen to Isaiah. Listen to Isaiah chapter 27 verse 1. Isaiah 27, verse 1. See what it says. In that day, the Lord with his saw and great and strong sword. Listen to this. Wow, great sword shall punish Leviathan. Listen to this shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, the piercing serpent, listen to this, even, look at this, even Leviathan, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, 
and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. So Leviathan is the one single spirit of the trinity of Satan that is at work every single day on the earth to making sure that their policies and ideas are carried out here on earth. And he is called Leviathan the piercing serpent. Just as the symbol of the Holy Spirit is a dove, the symbol what represents Leviathan is the snake. Just as fire and wind represent the Holy Spirit, what represent Leviathan is the eye, the all-seen eye of the other side, not the all-seen eyes of our own camp. It is the eye. So in Hindu religion, you see the eye. In African traditional 